Hey guys, Homer here. So we're looking at the Wraith. Uh, my latest subscriber has asked for me to do a vid on the winch. Now, I've mentioned it before in a couple of other vids. I, I'm not the greatest guy to be doing instructions for stuff because uh, not that I smoke a lot of electronics or anything. It's just that I'm not highly experienced yet. Things have been working out well for me and I'm having a ton of fun. So what, if you guys learn stuff from me, fantastic. And remember, I'm always ready for your criticism and thoughts. I hope. So anywho, the winch that I was going with, I noticed it's not on the truck. I had removed it. Busted wire needs to be fixed. Um, it can sit right on there on top of those bars. Now, you'd have to jam it through and you run the hook through the front bars, and it works out quite well. I usually just hook it onto the light cover or onto the post when I'm not using it. Um, that's a fish hook on there. It's kind of bent up, and you know they're pennies, so basically just buy another one. Clip the barbs off. You don't want. You don't need the sharpness for anything. Uh, it works great. Looks great, and it's way stronger than that thing that comes on it because that breaks quite quickly. Uh, remember that I've done my own body, that's just 20 gauge utility aluminum, it's just rolled up. It's actually pretty much the same size as the stock one. It was out further, but it rolled back perfectly for the winch. <clears throat> now the different ways you can mount it, the, what, what I did, and I don't have it ready. There's a chunk of it here. Stovepipe wire, I mentioned it in the backpack video. I use this stuff for damn near everything instead of zip ties. It's uh, way stronger. Um, I have girly hands, but I can still work this stuff myself, so get yourself some stovepipe wire from an H HVAC supplier or a fireplace supplier near you. And uh, I just ran it with the winch on top. This would go under the bar and then up through the hole and then just wrapped around the edge of the plate and then snipped on both sides. So that's all that was holding mine in. It's pulled on a summit. It's pulled itself straight up off the ground like that, no problem. Another way to do it is with zip ties. Now, you can get high-quality zip ties. I forget where, but here in Calgary, i got a buddy who works for Shaw Cable, and he hooks me up. Now, the reason why they're really good is because they got a small strip of tungsten steel inside of them instead of just uh, plastic, so they don't break in the cold like normal zip ties do. And the other way to do it would be that this thing does come with... Uh, bolts and nylon or uh, yeah small screws and nylon nuts so you can make a plate that will match this thing out of whatever you can make it out of aluminum or stainless or just galvanized metal wood if you have to or want to plastic delrin would work I know you guys are saying it all right uh, just make the plate and bolt it on and uh, even though it's nylon nuts remember this thing is gonna get worked hard it's gonna vibrate like hell on the front of the truck so uh, make sure well not make sure I always Loctite stuff I love Loctite that's the, that's the shit um, what else? Power. I still got that stupid Molex thing on there. Take it off. Cut it off. Solder on a Dean's. Um, Dean's is much more reliable. You can get it wet and it's not a problem. This stuff, you're going to lose amperage. You're going to lose power. It's a winch. I know it's not that important, but still. Plus with a Dean's, you can match all your bats probably without having to get a connector in there. So you can, myself personally, I never use the hookup for the, uh, for the receiver hookup. I never used it. All I did was run the power off it and use the switch. Reason why is I ran it up under the hood and I just had this wire was dangling underneath. No, that's not how it broke. While I was removing it, I, the, the edge of it got caught on the hood and I yanked on it too hard. Just that's what she said. Um, anywho, I stuck with the battery, kept it in my pocket whenever I wanted to use it. Pull this out, plug it in, and just use the battery out of your pocket. Other than that, guys, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. That's uh, mainly the winch bit, guys. Uh, any other questions, just post them up if I miss something. Have a great time, and we'll see you on the trails.